touch me, touch me, touch me. I like the way she fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. drop, hit it, hit it, hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Let's go with a YouTube. This is your boy CJ. And this is your girl Rena. Make, Make sure y'all subscribe to CJ and Rena. Rena. Alright, today we have a video on Lewis CK. Hop in. Guys, don't forget to donate to us at the bottom, guys. I know y'all ready because I'm ready. Are you ready, to? I'm ready. Let's get to it. I was reading to my kids the other night. We have a rule that if they get their teeth brushed. <laughs> Wow. With goddamn pajamas on. By 7:30, I'll read a book. Those are the rules. I'm always glad when they get ready because I like to read to them. Okay. And I do. I love reading to my girls. So we read a book the other night. We were reading uh, Tom Sawyer. I'm reading them Tom Sawyer. Because Mark Twain, great author, and they're five and nine years old. They're young for it, but they okay. catch up to it, and they're fascinated by the, all the language. He was big words, and beautiful writer. And I, I picked Tom Sawyer, not Huckleberry Finn, because Tom Sawyer is a nice kid. He goes to school, he goes to church, lives with his aunts. Now, Huckleberry Finn is a dirty little homeless, little white trash creep. <laughs> and the main problem is that he won't stop saying nigger. I mean, 40 times a page. I, I can't sit on my daughter's bed and just say nigger all night and then put her to sleep. I just ain't gonna do that. Anyway, I'm reading him Tom Sawyer, and it's a real nice book, but then all of a sudden he runs into Huckleberry Finn on the street. And then Tom saw his friend Huck Finn. I'm like, oh God, okay. All right, let's take it easy here, fellas. Let's just have a nice... Quiet conversation here. Let's see how this goes. Huckleberry Finn was carrying a dead cat. It's not a good sign. He's carrying a, he's walking around with a dead cat. Tom Sawyer says, what you doing with a dead cat, Huck? Huck Finn says, gonna cure my warts. All right. My kids are fascinated. Who told you you could cure warts with a dead cat? Well, Tom Wilson did it. He learned it from Jack Johnson, who learned it from some nigger down the street. Oh, God. All right, girls, listen. Here's the thing. America... People would say this word, and it's not a good word, and I don't know why I'm sounding like Bill Cosby right now. <laughs> but people used to say this word. This is not a nice word to say. And so we remembered. <laughs> I told the girls, you know, these boys are racists. <laughs> these boys are racists and they're not nice boys. <laughs> I think we can still enjoy the stories about the fishing and the trading and it's weird, man. There's a, you know, that's part of our history and we gotta, uh, we have to know it's there. And how do you cope with shit in your past that's bad? Like, how do you try to feel like a good country when you've done shitty things <laughs> as an entire nation? How do you take your past and, and still feel good? You know, like I probably, when I was eight years old, I showed my penis to a girl with Down syndrome that lived down the street. And I, I gotta walk around living with that every day. I gotta wake up as that guy. I was eight. If I did it yesterday, it would be considered a lot worse. But I'm still the dude that did that. I was just a kid, but this is still the penis that I showed to the girl with Down syndrome by the dumpster behind Kentucky Fried Chicken. That happened. Those were my values at eight years old. And I know that's an awkward thing to equate to slavery in America, but it's kind of the same thing. Because that shit happened here. Wow. Okay. At least he's not racist. I mean, hey. At least he was speaking his truth. <laughs> yeah. I was like, this dude is crazy. This dude is crazy. 
I was just thinking he was crazy, but he was really funny though. Funny to me, guys. He admitted to his children is it's not not a good word to say. Yeah, I mean, hey, it was it was just a knowledge of something that people gonna say. Uh, the N I G G A word is considered as to black folks. Some black folks accept it, some doesn't. But to be honest, no, that's when black people call black people like "What's up, my nigga?" But N I G G E R is the term that most people use to talk about black people. But in I, today's I, time, it's not just used for black people; it's used for everybody, and it means lazy. To so, be honest, to be honest, I look at it as a word that it can be any other word that you can say because it's just a word, and I don't even consider it as it. It's not for black people anymore. So I just want people to tell me. I don't care, care about it. I love everybody. Everybody loves me. If you don't, if oh you well. Use it in the line. You know how you I am. don't care. You know how I am. I do. Yeah, exactly. You know I don't care about anything that any words said. Because I guess it's just me coming back and saying right back to you. But, yeah, you know. All right. Don't pat me on my head. Alright guys, check this video out in the description below, comment below, and also donate to us below guys so we can keep going, going, going. Make sure you guys subscribe to CJ Arena. Like always guys, peace. Bye. I like the way she touched me, touch me, touch me, touch me. I like the way she fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me. Hit it, hit it, hit it, drop. Hit it, hit it, hit it, drop.